Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. I hope everybody's okay and having a good week. I'm Debbie at Parkbench Whispers and welcome to your message today on who has secret feelings for you. We will be looking at both of your energies, asking the universe for some advice for you and also seeing how you would feel about this as well. We'll particularly be looking for any movement from them any kind of communication or icebreaker in regards to letting you know how they feel or whether they're still going to keep that energy as secret. So we have three piles to choose from. We have pile one on the left, that's the two of cups with amethyst. Pile two is in the middle, you have the two of wands and that's with the tiger's eye. Pile three is on the right, you have the two of swords and that's with the jade crystal. All the timestamps are in the description box. It is a general reading, so please just take what resonates and just leave what does not. Follow your guidance and intuition and I will see you all in, the, all in your reading. Hello Pile One, welcome to your reading. If you have felt drawn to the Two of Cups along with the Amethyst Crystal, this will be your message for you today. It's a lovely healing energy, very calming energy from the Amethyst but the Two of Cups is an energy of union, it's companionship, it's friendship, but it is also romance as well as emotional balance and flow. And it actually says on here, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So what I overwhelmingly feel from you, it's an energy of knowing your own worth, that attraction that you want to attract into your life that matches you. That's what I feel for a lot of you. It's a union of happiness and emotional flow. Let's get that energy pile one on who has secret feelings for you. Thank you universe, the energy for pile one's person. Who has secret feelings for pile one? We have horse, so that is the free spirit. And it says on here, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. So I do feel this some, is someone going through a bit of a transformation, you know, they're freeing energy, expansion, maybe even adventurous as well, but they're giving them time, space to feel how they feel in regards of expressing that towards you. So I love the energy of the horse, it is very spiritual. There we go, let's get their love oracles, then we'll look at the tarot for both of you. Oh wow, we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection and attraction. So for sure this is someone, well they have quite deep feelings for you, it could even be for some of you, it is already deepening to love that they want to express towards you and for them this is unconditional. But what I'm loving as well about their energy, it's also connected to self-love. They're raising their own vibration in terms of how they feel about themselves and accepting that in terms of what they want to have returned. So the other oracle is open your eyes. If someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. I actually feel for a lot of you, it's like your eyes have met they have seen parts of you that they love and they believe it, they feel it and they've got that magnetic attraction. Which is true, isn't it? If someone shows you how they are, believe them the first time. And obviously that very much works for positive and negative. So they do believe in this, they believe in you, you know, they believe in what they feel. So let's have a look at the tarot. We'll see what we can find out and we'll see if there's any action, intention in regards of them revealing how they feel and maybe communicating that. Thank you universe, the energy for pile one's person please. Who has secret feelings for pile one? We have the page of pentacles, we're starting off with messages straight away. We have Judgment, the Three of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Yes, I feel this, this person's actually been a little bit worried about this in terms of how they're going to do this, how they're going to express. 
Yeah, you see, we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is action. It's all about communication, the thought pattern, the plans they have, that idea, the breakthrough. For some of you, I feel this is an icebreaker and it is quite fast. So they may have air in their chart as well. So this is quite interesting because this page of Pentacles, Pi 1, I mean, they may have Earth in their chart for sure. But it is someone who wants to message you, talk to you, to express an intention of stability. It's communication in regards of foundations, you know, making something grow, be more expandable in terms of success. So it seems to me that this person, regardless of whether this is someone online or if this is someone you work with or a friend of yours, they love your energy and what they want to do, they want to expand that to make it more solid. This is what's happening here because judgment, well, we know this is them calling time, you know, putting and put a full stop. They may have fire in their chart as well, particularly with judgment and that nine of wands, but judgment is a rebirth. So regardless of whatever the situation was for this person, whether it was a, a new chapter, they're embarking with that horse energy, or whether it's a new freedom energy they're embracing, well, however this resonates, they have decided to do this with judgment. And what I can see with that three of swords, it could well be they are moving on, healing, letting go of a previous situation. It does not have to be love related, but of course it could be, you know, it could be love related. So it seems to me your energies for the both of you in regards to how they view you, it clicks. It really does click. For them, it's like a light bulb moment and it feels unconditional, which has really helped this person heal, whether you've been aware of that or not. And this Nine of Wands is the energy of, well, some people refer it as the, the wounded soldier, the last man standing, regardless of gender, there's no gender or age. But what this is, it's... It's an overwhelming feeling of emotions, passion, drive, compassion and desire. And I can see why, because they've not been too sure to know how to express this. But the last man standing is determination. They're not walking away. They will see it through. You know, they've got the strength, the desire and the intention to do this it's just that it seems to me they have not been too sure when or how this should or if it's going to come about but I feel what's really helping is the horse spirit and them in the open eyes because you see when we are with someone we are attracted to we get that feeling they feel that energy from you that is number one it's safe number two they really enjoy it and number three maybe it's reciprocal and this is what I'm feeling because it seems to me you know they are moving on from whatever this may be because they have decided to which is the most important way to heal yes you see we have the eight of pentacles and the seven of swords so for sure we can see they're taking action it is quite fast it could simply mean as well a decision that they've made to do this but it does seem to me it's clarity the sword is up so it's quite determined thought pattern but what I can see with this eight of pentacles it seems they are very much wanting a foundation which obviously coincides with that page of pentacles so for them it's about creating a more solid foundation getting to know each other on a much deeper level but moving forward strategically or even with caution and I can see why they're moving forward with with caution it could well be for some of you that they have been hurt before but in all honesty a lot of people have and this is why they've decided to move forward with a more strategic a more clever plan a more kind of thought out plan with caution the other way of looking at this is because they were hurt before they may have been let down they may have been very disappointed so they're moving towards love with more caution that way but what the overall energy is, particularly with that Eight of Pentacles, it is about stability and prepared 
to put in that work. You know, they want to put in the work to create stability, but most of all, expansion. So that's really interesting. So we've got a lot of energy here. We've got the fire, the air, the fire again, and the earth. And obviously we've got um, air there. So let's clarify their energy. We'll look at more intentions, see what else we can find out. Thank you, universe. Please clarify pile one's person, please. And what is their intentions as well? So, wow. Okay, well, that says it all, doesn't it? Nine of, nine of cups. Wow, we have the knight of swords again. Wow, that's double confirmation. We have the hanged man. So they may have Pisces in the chart as well, which would make sense considering how spiritual that is. And then we have the five of pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, yeah, you see we have the queen of swords. So it's about truth clarity communication very clear-minded person they may be quite serious it might be some across someone who comes across very fast talking i feel and very clear about what they want to achieve in life and they're very focused on that but in regards to your connection we can see here any doubts you know you know the clouds do represent doubts confusion uncertainty even answers to questions they are not in that. They are in the blue sky, which is the truth, the clear skies, the clarity, because the sword is up. So for sure, I do feel this is someone who's quite clear in how they feel. It seems to me they've just been unsure, unclear about how this should manifest. And obviously, in regards to how you would feel about this. But in terms of their feelings for you, Pi One, this is the nine of cups it's real happiness you know it's emotional balance fulfillment a lot of people regard this as wish fulfillment so we can see why they want to take action in regards to creating stability in regards to the feelings they have for you because they want it to grow and expand and what i'm loving under judgment again we have that knight of swords well, that really confirms to me this is that rebirth. They are taking action in regards to the secret feelings they have towards you. And I honestly feel there's a conversation coming in. Because even with the hanged man under, after the, uh, underneath the three of swords, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because you would step back. You would have contemplation. You would gain wisdom and clarity before you moved on onto another relationship, another romance, or even in regards to feelings for someone else. So that really makes sense. I do feel they're quite sensible. They've got a real good thought pattern here. But you see, as I say, they might have Pisces, they might have water, they might have air. This is tremendous energy. So it could be someone who's been single for a while, and it seems to me their feelings have grown more. They've got to know you, whether this is online, work-related, friendship-related, maybe going to companionship, or even someone within a club that you go to. It will be where there's other people, you know, I, I feel for a lot of you. But for some of you, I do feel this is online. But it might be within your community, something where you go, a club, something you've joined where you're getting to know people. Quite honestly, this could even be on a dating site. You know, if you've joined recent apps or a dating site, this could be someone you're getting to know that really does have secret feelings for you that have not yet really been expressed. I feel for a lot of you, though, this could be work based related in regards to the five of pentacles. I do feel in regards to this person's history, they kind of felt let down. They were left out. It was a choice that they perhaps didn't have much decision in. And what they've decided to do is walk away from that let down. Because that five of pentacles is being let down, feeling left out, being left out in the cold, for example. But you see, the energy of the five of wands is... That's the church. We go into the church to gain help, to gain wisdom, to move away. And this is what they've done. Admittedly, yes, you know, they may have some doubts here in regards to how should I express this? Should I express this? But what's overtaking is their feelings and determination. 
because self-love is a big part of this person's energy and how this is gaining momentum because you can see the clarity what is really gaining here particularly with the, the free spirit which is the horse galloping along it's gathering strength is gaining momentum and it is the idea of opening up expressing how you feel and this is obviously connecting to love so let's see what we have underneath that queen of swords Yes, you see, we have, wow, you see, we've got the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles again. So, yeah, there's a sure sign for it could be work related. It could be something to do with your work connections, perhaps, as well. But it's growth, it's expansions, it's collaboration, it's teamwork. And it is positive because the threes is about conversations. Someone really expressing how they feel in terms of selling something. That's work related. But in terms of people, relationships, this is communication, expressing how they feel, being listened to. And this is why I feel this person is really moving forward with this. And again, we've got double confirmation here with the Eight of Pentacles. It's about creating that solid foundation between you before I feel they feel ready to really express how they feel. I actually feel what it is, they're trying to create stability before it could even go wrong. That's what I'm feeling. They're really trying to create some stability, some foundation. It's almost like a safety net they're trying to create just in case you didn't reciprocate this or you wasn't interested so they're trying to get to know you here they're trying to get to know you to seek the truth here with that five of pentacles to see how you may feel about this let's get your advice pile one and we'll see how you feel the energy for pile one please universe regarding this connection how would they feel about this whoa what do we have there my goodness me let me just pop them back on the top and I'll show you what's come out. Let me just pop that there. Okay, so it's quite a few, but I have to take them. It's very important. So we've got the Lovers, the King of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, and then we have the Eight of Swords, King of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Hermit. So there's a union. There is a union and a new beginning. And I do feel for a lot of you are actually closing out a chapter. You are closing out that cycle. And I don't know if you actually know this pile to, uh, to one, but can you see the imagery there from the hand? That is a blessing in disguise. So whatever may have not worked out, this end of this cycle, whether it is a thought pattern, whether that is you feeling let down in the recent past or even in the past, this imagery of the hand is the image of blessings in disguise. So it's almost like what's meant for you will not pass you by and this is the confirmation because you do have the energy of the lovers, you might have Gemini, you might have fire, you might have water, you might have air. But I can see for some of you, particularly with the air energy, you have been overthinking, overanalyzing in some area of your life that may even be romance, for example, because you are in the Two of Cups. But you see, as we can see, you are worthy of deepest kind of love. So this is where that thought pattern is leaving because you're at the 10. You're embracing your passion, your creativity, your desires with the King of Wands. And we have the brand new start coming in, which is the hand of love. It's the beginning, you know, it's you getting to know each other. And I have to say your advice is here to, to be strong, to be determined, and to be determined. To be clear about what you want and what you want to say to your truth, to your happiness, what makes you happy. Because perhaps some of you have been single for a while. You may have taken that step back in regards to commitment or even in regards to dating. But I do feel that's the wisdom, that's the clarity that's come through. And I love how your energy is ending. It's a three of wands. It's you moving forward with your passion, your desire. So I do feel your energy is and your advice is, 
is to embrace your heart, to embrace your truth and how you feel and move forward in confidence here because all what you desire is in front of you. That's the mountains, the ships, the water and the sunshine, which is the positivity, emotional fulfillment, the right job, the right people, the right circumstances because whatever it is you're walking away from on that 10, you're leaving it behind and we can see, obviously, I mean, for some of you, you might even know who this person is and you may already feel, yes, I want this communication coming in. I am so attracted to them too because it is love. It's a union. It's the perfect match. So this is really beautiful reading. And I have to say a confirmation again for some of you with this page of cups, that could be that you are already talking to this person online. As I felt there might be an exchange of feelings, conversations, truth and clarity already starting between you. Well, I really hope you enjoyed your reading, Pile 1, and I do hope that's resonated. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment if you felt that did. That would be lovely. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Pile 1, I am so sorry. I was just about to get set up for Pile 2, and I realised I did not give you the advice with your oracle cards. I do apologise. Let me get these for you to close out your reading. Thank you, Universe. What is your advice for Pile 1, please, regarding this connection? We have learning. Yes, you see, it's number 23. Well, you see, this is you both getting to know each other and wanting to get to know each other. You want to learn more. Open up. Express how you feel. So that's a really beautiful energy. The Oracle, the last one, please, Universe, for Pile 1. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Well, that was that Ten of Swords. That was that also, the overthinking, the overanalyzing that some of you may have felt kind of caught up in. But you see, the thing about acceptance is, and when you're in that Swords energy, you take off that blindfold, follow that guidance and intuition. And this is what they're trying to advise for you today in regards to that Two of Cups. Only allow what makes you happy, what gives you fulfillment, because that acceptance is letting go, you know, just letting go of things we cannot change, we can't go back, and this is why you're embracing that future and a new beginning of learning each other, accepting now. Again, sorry about forgetting your oracles, don't know what came over me, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Hello Pile 2, welcome to your message today. So if you have felt drawn to the Two of Wands along with the Tiger's Eye Moon, this will be your message for you today. And it actually says on here, I focus on what I want and make it happen. This to me feels like a spark. It's an idea, it's a creative idea. This is something you feel quite passionate about that is in your mind and you could be in between as to which way you should go with this. But I have to say in regards to romance, what's happening here, it is the intention of romance. It's the intention of passion, attraction, desire. And this is what you're being advised to do is I focus on what I want and make it happen, which is I feel, do feel <clears throat> there's a spark here with romance and it is that decision energy of the two of wands. Do I want to bring this in now? Do I want to bring it in later? So I do feel a lot of you are in a kind of in-between stage at the moment in regards of do I want romance right now or do I just want to concentrate what I want? But what the universe is saying here, you can have both. You see, the two of wands is in conjunction with romantic feelings, intentions, passions and your creative ideas, your passion, your goals. So they're saying you can move forward, you can focus on what you want and it can happen for you. So let's get that energy pile too on who has secret feelings for you. Thank you, Universe. The energy for Pile 2's person. Who has secret feelings for Pile 2? Wow. So we have the polar bear, which is nurturing. I wonder if they might be in the Empress energy. But it's a very nurturing area, very caring. I actually feel this is someone 
quite deep you know they're quite sort of methodical they're very much spiritual energy in terms of that nurturing caring family orientated person and it says on here allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and oh, what's that and offered up to be healed so it could be a transformation for this person but very nurturing very caring letting go at the same time embracing these feelings that you have for you albeit in secret at the moment but let's have a look at their tarot once we've done these love oracles and see what else we can find out so we have lightning wow just as i said that we've got sudden change shocking news a surprise and epiphany so it is transformation as I thought because we can't stay in that energy of healing. Healing is supporting us, encouraging us to move us forward to the future. So that's how I know this person is moving on, embracing these feelings they have towards you. So let's get their last oracle, then we'll look at their tarot. Free yourself. You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. So they're surrendering, aren't they? They're letting go of any control kind of thought patterns. No, I want it to work this way. No, I better not express how I feel. Oh my gosh, what if two doesn't number two doesn't feel how I feel? And I feel this is them letting go of control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. So they're really releasing and surrendering to these feelings. And I have to say pile two uh, some of this communication or expression of how they feel could be quite fast because lightning is an unexpected energy it's a surprise a sudden change so it's almost like they're going to seize the moment isn't it when they get that chance they're going to seize that opportunity thank you university energy for pile two's person please who has secret feelings for pile two wow okay well that's amazingly positive ace of cups and then we have the tower yeah that's the transformation and letting go and surrendering and we have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this came out for pile one actually the eight of pentacles so it is someone who wants to put instability between the both of you, create more stability, more foundation, get to know you more, express how you feel and obviously grow together in terms of learning about each other because each pentacle does represent you know, something they want to achieve in terms of love, romance, getting to know you, career, goals, finances. But what it does show, it is putting that energy in, in regards to getting to know you. I mean, it could well be for some of you, you've known each other for ages. You know, you might be friends, you might work together, but they obviously want to grow this now. They want to grow to manifest, to create a foundation for you because we're starting off with the sun well that's the most happiest positive card in the whole deck it is the sunshine very often after a difficult time a sad time or some situation where we felt um let down you know um not really opening up you know maybe feeling closed off but it's the brand new beginning isn't it the sun is about positivity the sunflowers do represent that energy in regards to following the energy of the sun and they follow it all day and in the evening they close when the sun comes up the next day they follow it so it is someone following the intuition looking for peace and clarity really intending to bring happiness I do adore the sun energy, it's really positive and very often as I say after a rainbow, after a stormy time, after kind of a, a difficult time and we can see with temperance as well, this is balancing, you know, it's emotional balance, they may even have Sagittarius in their chart as well. So I do feel this person is surrendering, you know, they're letting go of whatever this was here with the tower, they're embracing how they feel and they definitely do want a start, you know, they want to start to express how they feel, however that resonates with you. Yes, it could be online, you know, it could be you both going out after work together, it could be a club a communication type of setting whether it's a club or community however this resonates with you but it is someone who wants to start expressing how they feel towards you in terms of that nurturing energy the temperance energy bringing balance equalness emotional balance because they do want to create stability on a much deeper level 
I'm not saying they're just going to come straight up to you and give you, you know, it's not going to be romance from day one. I don't think it is. I feel this is a gradual friendship or relationship that's going to grow. You're going to get to know each other. And what's real big emphasis from your person is stability in its happiness. You know, it's about creating more peace, more balance, but creating stability at the same time because we can see they are releasing, surrendering, as I said, with that nurturing energy because of how they feel. They're letting go of any doubts, fears, raising their confidence. And I do feel this is the sudden surprise. This is the shock. You know, this is what's coming in. So this is why I'm feeling it might be quite unexpected because for them, they're going to seize the moment. They do want to embrace how they feel because they've realized they need to free themselves because they can't control every aspect of every, you know, kind of relationship, any friendship, any companionship. They need to let go of control to embrace trust and the intuition. So really, really interesting read. Oh, wow. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Hanged Man. So they may have Pisces in the chart as well. They may have air. They might have earth, definitely. But they definitely might have water. But it is someone, I feel, is moving forward with slight caution in regards to how they may even contact you about this. You know, how do I express to Pile 2 how I feel? But that's the beauty of the Hanged Man. It's a very spiritual energy, particularly Pisces. They're very intuitive, very much an empath energy. So I feel this person is very much following their intuition in regards of how they feel about you and how they should proceed forward. Should I express how they feel or should I not express how they feel? This is the energy they've been in. They've been unsure. Shall I move forward? Shall I not move forward? It's almost an energy of caution, not really sure about what they want to do. But this is where the hangman is helping them. It's clarity, it's wisdom, it's downloads. So yes, they want to start expressing how they feel, but there is not a great amount of intent in regards of action as yet, is there? But I do feel they want to deepen the, the communication. They want to deepen the relationship, however that resonates with you, in regards to seeing how you feel about this. But I do feel after that, it's something fast because look what happens after the Ace of Cups, which is the beginning, the expression. It's the tower, letting go, moving forward, the shock, the unexpected. That's the lightning. So it's really interesting. Oh, wow. Look, we've even got the page of swords at the bottom. I've just noticed. So that could be someone you speak to online. It could be someone who asks your friends about you. Maybe um, you talk to them online. You message each other. For others of you, this is someone wanting to message you, communicate in terms of conversations. You know, let's go out for coffee. Let's go out after work. What are you doing after we finish this class? You know, that type of thing. It's someone who is trying to express how they feel with very much an caution around it it's almost like i can imagine you know if you're in an evening class and you get to the end of the evening class they're going to say hey you know well let's go for coffee before we go home it's someone very much gently but cautiously trying to gauge how you may feel about this which is, you know, that's wise, isn't it? It's really wise because they are trying not to put themselves in too much of a vulnerable position and also trying to assess how you may feel about this in regards to not offending you, not upsetting you as well. But their intention is happiness. I can, you know, that is for sure. Balance, emotional balance and happiness. But their feelings for you, I have to say, are a lot deeper than a lot of you may realise. Because that Ace of Cups is the beginning of love. It's the starting of love. And I have to say, this is why they really do want to express how they feel. Because they are in that nurturing, transformational energy. Really beautiful energy coming from your person, Pile 2. Let's clarify their energy. Look for any intentions. Yeah, you see, I knew it was transformation. Look, they've reached an end of a cycle. We've got another page. Well, this is the romance coming through now. Wow, the lovers. Oh my gosh, we have the emperor. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. Well, this is the beautiful karma. It's the momentum gaining speed. And the reason being is because the energies are going in the right direction. There's nothing holding it up. 
and the reason I can honestly say that to you, part two, because at the end of the cycle, they're embracing how they feel. You know, they're freeing themselves completely. They're letting go of control. They're letting go of any worries, any doubts. I'm not saying all. Oh, obviously, they're going to have some. Everybody does. But they're really doing their best here to embrace how they feel. And the reason that's happened is because of how they feel about you. You've helped them move on. You've helped them realise feelings you know happiness companionship it's almost like i feel they get butterflies when they're around you and to some extent i don't even know if you might be aware of the depth of this because underneath the sun we have that ten of swords well you see this came out in pile one as well and it is the end of a cycle it's the end of that thought pattern, surrendering, letting go, whether that is being let down, the overthinking, that thought pattern. But as I was saying to pile one, you see this man's laying here there, and I don't know if you can see from that image, let me hold it right up. Now if you look at that hand there, now that imagery from that hand is blessing in disguise. So whatever this person's been going through or has gone through, Although it might not have felt like it, it was actually a blessing in disguise because it's led them on to a higher, better, more prosperous vibration because they want to embrace love at the right way for them. This attraction they have for you, I can assure you, is much deeper than they've had before because they're in the emperor energy. Because they want to bring about the lover's union and they may have Gemini in their chart. So yes, they might not you know even express how they feel there might even be flirting going on between you but that was a blessing in disguise and they're letting it go but you see we have the page of wands again so this is their romantic intentions this is their feelings the desires the intentions they have towards you which could as i say come through as a gentle message you know let's go out let's meet up let's talk this is the messaging energy, the beginning stages of them communicating to you in regards to the depth of how they feel. And the lovers, as we know, it's a union, it's blessed energy. For them, this is the match. They feel this is a match. It's like lightning for them. It is almost an epiphany, as it says on here. But they are in the emperor well we know this is a boss energy leadership yes you could work with them absolutely it might be someone who you've known for years who's at a leadership role it could be someone you speak to online however this may resonate with you it will differ for sure for all of you but what won't differ is that emperor energy it's a fiery energy for sure, this could be someone um, in Aries energy as well. They've got that Aries in the chart, perhaps. But the overall energy is that fire, that passion. So they may be really focused on you. They may have felt quite strongly about you for quite some time. But they've kept it to themselves. Because as we know, the emperor can't be knocked off their throne. They've worked hard, you know, they've gone through life lessons. They've earned that level through their own work, their own mindset, their own determination and their passion. And they do not normally take action until they're sure. This is why I feel control was quite an issue here with this person. Because the emperor is a very controlled mindset, very firm, very focused even quite honestly comes across as quite stern you know quite serious so they are trying their best to let go of that they're realizing they can't have control over anybody else's feelings anybody's intentions only themselves so this is why what's meant for you will not pass you by as i said in pile one because they had the ten of swords as well it's letting go of that and obviously what they're hoping for what they're manifesting here is the lovers union Let's see what we have underneath that Wheel of Fortune. Wow, so we have the High Priestess as well. So very spiritual energy. I mean, again, it's the water energy, isn't it? So it is someone very much in tune with their guidance, their intuition, very nurturing, very caring as well. But the High Priestess is those downloads. It's the guidance from their spirit team. Yin yang energy as well so in all honesty they might feel this electric between you they may feel a magnetic pull which is quite unique in terms of never having that before which is what i feel with this emperor energy because we can see they've been thinking about you you know they've been 
trying to think about how can I express this or should I even express this so that may differ for some of you but I see I do see small pockets of action you know their feelings are going to be gradually expressed and they're going to gauge how you would receive that how would you feel about this and then obviously they would hope to manifest this into the lover's energy of the Gemini so let's get your advice pile two and we'll see how you feel about this thank you universe your advice for pile two please regarding this connection and how will pile two feel about this so what do we have a decision two of swords wow the page of swords my goodness seven of pentacles that's quite interesting look what we have at the bottom of the deck you're in the high priestess as well so you may have fire i beg your pardon you might have water in your chart as well but i do wonder if you're attracted to this person as well you're following your intuition here because this is two of swords well we know this is decision energy very much like the two of wands you know moving forward for your best and highest good and this is what the universe is advising you today move forward to your truth what feels right for you because taking that blindfold off encourages you to continue with that high priestess energy so you might even be aware of this person you might be aware of the depth of their feeling for some of you quite honestly so you may be attracted as well for some of you you might be deciding do you know what i don't know if i want a romance right now do i actually want to embrace romance right now and you might be umming and ahhing about that so this is what you're being advised to do move forward with that two of swords in your own decision to your own happiness your truth your ideas and your conversation at the pace you are happy with because once you take that blindfold off i feel you're going to be able to make that decision you're going to see what's in front of you and make a clearer decision for yourself for your happiness going forward but what i can see within your energy i mean we've got the page of swords and then we have the seven of pentacles so for some of you you are already wanting action you're wanting messages, you're wanting communication, clarity, maybe even answers to your questions. For others of you, I feel this is the icebreaker that you've been wanting to happen because the Seven of Pentacles is patience, waiting for something to happen in regards to manifestations, love, romance. So I do feel you're being advised to do what is right for you. Follow your intuition with the High Priestess and if you want to talk, talk. If you want to message, by absolutely do that because what's coming in is what you've been waiting for whether that's romance your creative two of wands however this resonates with you you are moving forward because you've waited long enough and now is your time here to take action with that page of swords so i just want to close your reading pile two with a couple of oracle cards thank you wow okay what do we have peace peace came flying out I am being, oh, okay, let me read this. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Well, that could be for some of you that annoyance, the frustration of waiting because more balance, more peace is coming in. And in regards to your connection to this person, for sure, you're both in the same energy because that's temperance, it's balance, it's peace, it's nurturing energy. So that may resonate for you there as well. But it, overall, there's more peace, there's more balance because you are a being of love. You're releasing negative energy, awakening. Yeah, this is a brand new beginning. Number 29. I just want to get you one more because that did come out while I was still talking. So I just want to make sure higher thought. Yeah, it couldn't be combined any better. So we have number 10 and 29. A higher thought pattern is a raise in your vibration. It's the raise in your thought pattern here. This is what you're being advised to do. Make the decision that makes you happy. Because once you make that decision, I feel like a, a bit of a weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders. And obviously awakening is elevation. It's expansion. It's growth. It's enlightenment coming towards you. Whether that's love, romance, your creative ideas, your passions... This is that two of one's energy. 
I love this reading for you. I do hope that's helped you, Pile 2, and I hope that's resonated for you. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment if you felt that did. And I hope to see you all next time. That would be lovely. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading today. If you have felt drawn towards the Two of Swords along with the Jade Crystal, this will be your message for you today. And what it says on here, Pile 3, whatever I decide, I trust in the outcome. It is, for me, a decision energy. What do I do? Do I move forward? Do I make more planning? Do I want to think about this more? This is the energy that I'm feeling from you. It does not have to be love related, but it's planning, creativity. But you see, the thing is about the Two of Swords, but particularly in the traditional uh, Rider Waite Tarot, there's a lady there in the blindfold, you see. Now what we do is we take that blindfold off and it's about following your intuition. And this is what the universe is reminding you today. You have all the tools, you have all the skills to trust in yourself and the outcome going forward for your best and highest good. You do not have to doubt yourself because the truth, the outcome, even the icebreaker is coming towards you, even if it does mean in regards to this reading, you know, in regards to this um, person who have secret feelings for you, you can trust in your own mind, your own decisions as to how or if you would want to proceed with that. But ultimately, the Two of Swords is a decision. It's a thought pattern because you are very kind of wanting the best, the ultimate outcome. And this is what the universe is saying here. You can trust in that. It's for your best and highest good here. Thank you, universe. The energy for pile three person, please. Wow, we have two what's come out. So we have diamond light activation, which is the penguin and heart medicine. Heart medicine is an energy of letting go, which does not serve. And this is what this person's doing. I wouldn't be surprised if they might be in some kind of transformation or even recently gone through a tower episode. But that wolf is determination. It's very loyal. It's very determined. And obviously this is in packs. Now, this is what's happening here. I do wonder if it's a friend of yours, a social circle, even a colleague. But heart medicine is that letting go, which does not serve for your highest good. That could be doubts, fears, lack of confidence and embracing how they feel. Now, the second energy of penguin is the diamond light activation. And it says here, light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. This is what I mean. They're letting go in one energy and embracing in the next. It's a diamond light activation. Very, very spiritual. And again, I have to say, it is in regards to intuition. It's downloads. You know, it's following that gut instinct in regards to these secret feelings they have for you. For them, it feels right. They're letting go of maybe the doubts and fears to express towards you. I said transformation, look at that, we have the dragonfly. This is the beauty shining through, the transformation. It's adapting to the change. And it says, be light-hearted, finding out things will come to light. And it's adapting. So for sure, this person is going through a transformation. But this is a really powerful transformation. I actually feel, for a lot of you... This is someone who's embracing these secret feelings they have for you and it's really kind of knocked them sideways to some extent because they're letting go of any doubts and fears and this is different for them because the dragonfly is very unique. You know, it's, it's really adapting, it's changing, things coming to light here which beautifully ties into the diamond light activation. Soulmate, I knew it. Yes, this person is your soulmate. Your connection is sacred. This is why, Pile 3, this is quite unique. Let's just get their tarot energy and we'll find out what we can. So it seems to be a bit of a transformation, which would be understandable, you know, if it is a soulmate connection. They want to let go of any doubts and fears and quite honestly embracing what they're feeling. Thank you, Universe. The energy for Pile 3's person. Who has secret feelings for Pile 3? So we have that Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I knew it. The Fool, the Ace of Wands, 
and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow. We have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's collaboration. It's teamwork. It is moving forward. You know, it's talking. It's expressing. But it's the Earth energy, so it could be someone you work with, someone you speak to on a regular basis, whether that's in a social circle, a club that you go to, or evening classes, however that may resonate. But the Three of Pentacles is coming together, talking, expressing, raising of vibration. But let's see, look at the energy, because this Seven of Pentacles... This is an energy of patiently waiting, you know, or maybe even waiting for the right time, the right moment. I actually feel in regards to your person, it was waiting for the right time for them as well. They're wanting to manifest at a right vibration before they can gradually start expressing how they feel. Because they've been waiting, they've been watching, they've got feelings for you. They want to create a foundation and get to know you a lot more. Because this full energy is the new beginning. It's that leap of faith. And this, as we know, is them stepping into that diamond light activation in that penguin. It's that leap of faith. Now, as I often say, within that full energy, the white flower that the fool is holding here. And remember, this is the beginning of the journey. This is freedom, positive growth and a new beginning. So what it seems to me, they want to create a more solid foundation. They want to get to know you better because they want to step forward with the fool to get to know you better, to express how they feel in regards to the Ace of Wands. Well, we know this is passion, you know, this is romantic feelings. It's the desire that they have, that they really ideally would like to start with you by getting to know you here. And obviously, look what we have, we have the other Ace. Well, this is the Ace of Cups. So not only do they have romantic feelings and desires, they want to start expressing here their feelings the care, the compassion, because we know for them this is that soulmate connection. So I don't know how long they've held this back, but this has probably been a little while because this person hasn't just met you, say, this week, have they? This is someone maybe you know, might have known for a long time. It might be a friend of yours. It could be a colleague. It could be someone you speak to online that you're gradually getting to know. But their feelings are deepening. They're letting go of anything what doesn't let sort of like serve for the best and highest good because we can see they're going through transformation. So we have the earth, we have the fire, we have the fire, and then we have the water. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, see, look at this. They've been holding back how they feel deliberately, you know, with their own intention. And I can see why, because they've been a bit nervous, they're waiting for the right time. It could also be in regards to see how you might receive this, which would be understandable. But it also could be because you're speaking online, because this is someone in the Page of Swords. That might mean online communication. That could also mean them speaking to your friends, asking your friends about you. How would Pile 3 feel if I was to express how they feel or ask them out on a date? That type of thing. But for others of you, this is a sign of messages, communication, talking. So this is why I feel for a lot of you, you may well work with them and you're around them quite often. And you do talk to them, but what they've been holding back is how they feel because we know this is the secret feelings they have for you. So that's really, really interesting. So let's clarify their energy and see what else we can find out. Get some more intentions for you. Thank you, universe. Please clarify Pile Three's person. What is their intentions to Pile Three? And clarify their energy. Yes, moving forward now, Pile 3, we have the Three of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands, and the Hierophant. So it could well be someone really, well, well, yes, they could have Taurus for a start in their chart. They may have Taurus, but it is someone quite spiritual following their guidance. And I say that because not only are they in the diamond light activation, it's someone adapting to change, believing in the guidance, the intuition, the downloads. Also, it could be someone who believes in marriage, long-term commitment. So it may vary for all of you, but overall, the Hierophant is a spiritual energy. 
very much uh, someone who believes in right and wrong because what we have underneath that seven of pentacles we have the three of wands well this is forward moving action and i'll just show this a little bit higher it is an expression of how they feel they want to and they intend to express how they feel they intend to come towards you to express that because in front of them is the ships the water the mountains and the sun which is their dreams the goals the love the manifestations and they realize they need to change and adapt to how they feel now in that dragonfly energy because however they feel before is gone how they feel now is the reality and this is what dragonfly does it's the beauty it's the intrigue and it's transformation to reveal the real them to you and really things coming to light as it says so they are gradually taking a step towards you in their mind they have intention of expressing how they feel but the action here is the full really and the two aces but what we have underneath the four i can see this person maybe has been in a previous situation where they may have felt left out they may have felt kind of um, a lack of confidence they felt kind of doubtful in regards to romance you know or even embracing the idea of romance because of that five of pentacles it's a little bit of a sad let down energy and i have to say well we can see let me hold that up for you this ties into heart medicine because it's let them go which no longer serves so that's how i can appreciate they have been through a bit of a transformation. But what I'm loving is they're taking the full action. They're letting it go. Because even underneath the Ace of Wands, we've got the Eight of Cups. Well, that's them walking towards the future. And we know that's the Eclipse energy. Well, that only happened a few days ago. So this energy of the solar eclipse lasts for a few weeks before and it lasts for a few weeks after. Even some astrologers, I believe, even say it lasts up to six months after. But you see, it is the energy that we're in now. They're walking towards their emotional happiness because they are going through transformation, that healing energy, letting go of unfulfillment, unhappiness towards these feelings that they're embracing towards you. Interestingly, although their feelings are secret, I do wonder whether they might be flirting you know you might even recognize this energy for some of you it's flirting competition so maybe for some of you there already is flirting here because that to me is an energy of them wanting to be seen by you to be validated by you to want to be able to express how they feel towards you but there seems there's other people there so maybe from their perspective they might feel it's hard to be with you on a one-to-one -one because there's all the other people there or this is them wanting to be seen a struggle in terms of flirting you know can i release how i feel today should i show pile three how i feel today so there's like an internal confusion they've got here but what ultimately is happening obviously is the ace it's the beginning and it is the start of them expressing how they feel towards you because we can see how intense their feelings are for you it is unique you know it's very different and it's no wonder they really do want to start taking this action towards you so we've now got the ace of pentacles you've now got three of the four aces here because we've even got the two of pentacles after the hierophant so this is that decision energy as well a bit like your energy of the two of swords moving forward juggling what should i do when should i do it how should i do it it's about creating stability for your person they want to create a much more foundation and i have to say for a lot of you i'm getting the thing they want to get to know you a lot more they want to take their time to get to know you to create that foundation for stability and longevity because they want to come in with three aces to express how they feel express the care and create stability so it's a gentle energy isn't it someone who's not going to come charging it's more gentle more stable it's someone who really could be in that pentacle energy of the earth so that's very very interesting let's get your energy pile three and we get some advice for you as well so that we've got all the elements here i believe so there's a lot of energy here within them three aces out of four 
Thank you, Universe. The energy, please, for Pile 3 and what is your advice for Pile 3 regarding this connection and how will they feel about this? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Hermit and the World. Love it beautiful and we have the empress at the bottom well that's nurturing energy it's a caring energy it's someone where really i feel you're ready you're wanting expansion and growth as well it could be for some of you again it's that earth energy you see connecting to empress it's stability so you may already talk to this person quite regularly it may be for some of you you're getting to know them deeper already by the time you come along this message but it's very nurturing it's expansion and i do feel you're really welcoming to this because this six of pentacles is your advice here with the hermit and it's growth it's generosity it's balance so I do feel you're ready to make this decision, Pile 3, in regards to many areas. You want more stability, you want foundation, and you want equality, quite rightly. And this is what I feel is coming in regards to this conversation. The expression of these person's secret feelings being revealed to you to create, hopefully, a forward-moving foundation for the both of you. I can see a lot of you may have even been in that hermit energy, which is we know this is that taking that step back, it's gaining wisdom, gaining clarity. You may even have Virgo in your chart as well. But you see, the lantern is lit up by the universe. It's guiding you moving forward one step at a time, enough for you to see the next steps, to gain that clarity at the pace you're happy with so absolutely your advice is to move forward at the pace you feel comfortable with because stability is coming in it's very equal or it will be more equal going forward because you've learned yourself through life experiences with that two of swords and the hermit the, your decision pattern is spot on you know you know what's right for you and this is why they're asking you to take that blindfold off and follow the intuition because you already know the answers to your best and highest good but you see what we have coming in is the world so it is a brand new chapter it's a new cycle for you some of you for example there might be uh, might be distance between the both of you perhaps it might mean traveling to see each other or you may travel for your job you know but ultimately this is a new beginning it's a new cycle because you are ready so let's get your oracle cards pile three just to close out your reading for you wow what do we have there so we have liberation and harmony. Yes, yeah, so it's balance. Can you see? It's the balancing of the scales here, as in that six of pentacles. You've got the harmony and liberation. It's the balance. I love this. So there's more harmony, more balance, more clarity, and a liberating energy of enlightenment, raising your vibration to what makes you happy. It's going to be very liberating in terms of freedom, expansion, and expression. Thank you, universe. The energy for pile three, please. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Well, I couldn't put it better because this is why, you see, you are wise enough. You already know this, pile three, because you're in the two of swords. So patience is the energy of waiting for the right decision, waiting for the right moment. Yes, of course, patience could mean frustration, being annoyed as well, that things don't happen as fast as we would like. But as I feel a lot of you are in that two of swords, which is that decision energy, I feel you're, you don't mind that. You know, you're patiently waiting because you want it to be right. You want the right foundation. But in regards to this connection coming towards you, them expressing how they feel, I do feel a lot of you are welcoming. You know, I feel you're ready for them to express how you feel. Whether this really is a surprise, an unexpected person revealing to you how they feel, I still feel you are embark embarking on a brand new chapter, which could lead to a tremendous liberation in terms of, wow, well, this is kind of different. This is a different kind of relationship. This isn't a different expression of love coming towards me. So it is different. It's harmonious. I do hope that's resonated for you, Pal 3, and I hope you've enjoyed that. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. If you felt that did, that would be lovely. And I hope to see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.